Opening the sinus without uh, chemicals involves a three-step process that I've made up, I guess. There's the find process where you have to find the opening that's going to work for you. There's the sort of lock it down step where you use an adhesive material to lock that position down. And then later, after you're finished sleeping, there's a cleanup phase where you remove the adhesive material. Inside the sinuses there are turbinates, tissue, in the shape of a curl, a round curl bone, that can swell up with blood, fluids, and other things, I guess, that close off the sinus. Now there's some potential that you can open that sinus, even though that turbinate is sort of deep inside, by manipulating the exterior of your nose. I know there's a device that adheres to the surface of your nose and it sort of pulls out this way. That's got a, a, a certain amount of force in a specific direction, but using this technique I'm talking about, you can vary the direction according to what you find is the spot that you're interested in. So if I were to pull outward this way and find that that actually opens my sinus, well that's finding it. Uh, if I do that and it doesn't open anything, I could try other sorts of tension, even up here, I could try pulling this way or down here, pulling straight down, you contort the skin in various directions until you find something that seems to open that clog and you're going to use that as your vector of force, a force in a given direction. You may even find that you have to literally take the tip of your nose and pull it off to one side, something like this. Maybe even a combination of pulling this way or this way, you might find that that opens the cavity well enough that you can actually breathe through it. So that's the finding process. And of course, you would do this process when your sinuses are fairly clogged. You know, you hadn't sprayed anything in there yet. You hadn't done anything to them. That way you can find the true nature of what opens them mechanically with this little vector process. So that's the fine step. Now we'll move on to locking it down. Okay, some of the materials you're going to need for this. This is Next Care gentle paper type of tape. You really need to be careful what sort of tape you use for this process. If you use regular tape, it's going to essentially pull too much of the oils and skin or whatever off when you remove it. Even if you're careful, even if you use a solvent, this gentle paper is made such that it can be removed fairly well over and over again if you're careful. So I suggest Next Care gentle paper as a type of tape or something very similar to it. And then you'll need some uh, isopropyl alcohol and some scissors and maybe some tweezers to get everything done from here on out. Now again, there's some relief some people find by pulling the tissue down here. I have whiskers here so I wouldn't be able to adhere anything to it, but you can do that. You can pull this way or even pull up. I'm going to go with this direction here just as an example. I lock close to the side of the sinus the first end of the tape so now I can sort of pull that out but the other end of the tape doesn't just get set in place. You have to kind of pull the tissue here toward it, you know, so that you get maximized. You're kind of squinching the whole thing together, pinching it together like this, and then locking that in place over there. So now I've kind of got tension pulling that way. But I'm also going to pull my nose over too a little bit because I've decided for whatever reason that somehow that helped. As unfortunate as that is, I'm going to continue my my example by pulling my nose over too. So let me get to that in a second here. Okay, now naturally my face has been washed of oils and whatnot as best as I could. I might anchor back here, pull out this way, and again I might even pull over this way. So let's just say that that goofy combination of force happened to open my sinus. Well what I've done is I've contorted my 
face using tape to tension it to that side so that I could have an open sinus. Now naturally this doesn't work for me so I'm not going to do it that way. It could have involved maybe anchoring here pulling up and then pulling the other part down and providing some upward tension this way. You have to work with it and again during the finding process where you find what tension works that's when you find what direction you're going to try to anchor to and then you pull tension both ways. Pull the skin this way and this way and try to lock it in place and you get this kind of opening effect and you can put as many as you want. Now the removal of the tape later can be done by grabbing an end of the tape like this and instead of just ripping it off I use the alcohol dab a little bit of alcohol on my finger each time and carefully use that as a sort of solvent to get it off gently. One last thought some of the glue can still seem to you know hang around afterwards you can sort of it's the gentle paper type of glue so it comes off fairly easy you might just roll it off but I found that taking a tissue paper helps you find it and once you've found it you can use the tissue paper to kind of pull it off or your fingers it's not that hard you can get rid of it fairly quickly within a few minutes and then you go about your day and get ready for the next cycle and that that next evening like I said it's ugly but uh, find out what works for you, give it a try, because you don't want to become addicted to the sprays and have the spray fail to work at some point. So, I'll try to hold my camera steady here. Anyway, give it a try. There you go.